Good Friday morning, everybody. This is Steve Monday, Chief Forecaster for Rowan County Weather. Let's go ahead and take a look at what's going on weather-wise around the area this morning. We've got cloudy skies out there to start the day off. 70 degrees at the Mid-Carolina Airport, Salisbury. Temperatures in the upper 60s and low 70s around the county, depending on where you are. 63 degrees starting the day off up in Boone and Jefferson, the cool spots on the map. And you can see quite a few areas with uh, in the low 70s. Looks like Dunn's going to come in as the, one of the warm spots on the map at 73. Also up toward uh, the Raleigh-Durham area coming in at 73 as well. And then down toward uh, Laurenburg, also 73. So quite a few warm spots on the map. We'll all warm up into the uh, 80s today. And we'll continue to keep you updated on that. The big story today for us is going to be the fact it's going to be very humid. It's going to be cloudy outside, give you a little false sense of, uh, of some cooler fall-like weather just looking out the window, but then when you step outside, that humidity is going to hit you. So keep that in mind, especially if you're doing some outside work or just anything recreational. As we pan out, we'll take a look at some of the uh, tropical systems we're keeping an eye on. Here is what is now post-tropical uh, depression. Nicholas uh, still meandering around that uh, Louisiana area along the Gulf Coast there. Uh, this system continuing to provide some rain chances along the Gulf Coast, and they've been battered with rain for a couple of days now. So we're continue, continuing to keep those folks in our thoughts down in that area. Then we've got this system here, Invest 95 or 96L, excuse me, just off the coast of North Carolina. This system has the best chance of becoming our next name storm. Uh, and we'll continue to keep you updated on that. And then as we continue to take a look out over the Atlantic, we've got two more disturbances out here. One that we'll certainly continue to keep an eye on. This is Invest 95L. And it has a 60% chance of becoming a named storm right now. And it has plenty of open water out here. Looks like it's going to stay north of the Hispaniola Shredder, as we call it. Uh, that's uh, the mountain regions down there uh, for uh, all the islands, Puerto Rico, Haiti, Cuba, all those islands that have those mountain regions that just kind of rip uh, storms apart and really you know, weaken them out. So this system looks like it's going to stay north of that. So we'll continue to keep an eye on that as it could become a threat to the U.S. mainland. Uh, I'd say around 10, 10 days or so at the rate that it's moving. So we'll continue to keep an eye on it. And then this system just off the northwest coast of Africa, uh, the National Hurricane Center is watching as well. It only has about a 10% chance of development at this point. So uh, no real concern at this point for that one, but something that certainly continues to bear watching. Let's go ahead and take a quick break. We'll get a word from our friends at Patterson Farm. Then we'll come back and give you the five-day forecast and the high school game day football forecast if you're planning on heading out to any of the football games around the county tonight. And all that's coming up right after this. Hi, it's Michelle Patterson here at Patterson Farm Market and Tours, and we're so excited to reveal our 2021 Corn Maze design, which is Visit North Carolina Farm. We hope you and your family will visit us here at Patterson Farm Market and Tours this fall. For more information about our fall events, please check out our website at visitpattersonfarm.com. And we hope to see you here at the farm. Weather Impacts for today, sponsored by Patterson Farms, the fall educational school tours going on now through November the 5th. For more information on how to book your tour and all the details on the tours, visit pattersonfarm.com. Corn maze also going on out there. You saw the details for that during the break. And then, of course, the pumpkin patch is coming up and also the uh, market open for you to be able to come out and pick up some fresh from the farm produce and some other goodies to bring home and enjoy as well. So uh, certainly take an opportunity to head out and visit Patterson Farm for all your needs this coming fall season. Mostly cloudy skies during the day-to-day. -day. Winds will be out of the north, northeast at around five miles an hour. Partly cloudy skies this evening. The 2021 uh, tropical cyclone names for the Atlantic season. Nicholas is almost done, uh, so we'll see that name get marked off the list. The system just off the coast of North Carolina has, a, has the best chance right now of becoming Odette, so we'll certainly keep an eye on that. And then, of course, that system that uh, is moving through the Atlantic, 
uh, that should stay north of the Hispaniola Shredder if it continues to develop will likely become Peter. So we'll certainly continue to keep an eye on that, keep you updated as well. Pollen Outlook sponsored by Good Nights Lawn Care. These guys take care of my lawn and I love it. They offer services like mowing, trimming, seeding, mulch, pine straw, and more. For more information on services provided, give them a call, 980-521-1937. Main pollen drivers are grasses, chinopods, and ragweed. And you can see we've got high levels of pollen activity right through the weekend and the early next week. The mowing forecast looks pretty good overall today. I think you'll stay dry. It's just going to be really humid out there, so keep that in mind. You may want to hydrate just a little bit more than you normally would just to be safe. And then afternoon showers and, and uh, storms over the weekend could interfere with getting it done. So take advantage of the early morning hours and maybe early afternoon hours to get it done. The mosquito forecast continues to show high levels of activity right in early next week. And then the high school game day forecast, if you're heading out to any of the games tonight around the area, it's certainly going to be a little buggy out there. So keep that in mind. At kickoff, we'll see partly sunny skies, partly cloudy skies as we go through the evening hours. Temperatures dropping from 73 down to around 70 uh, from the game start to the time the game's end. So keep that in mind as you're out there tonight. And then the five-day forecast sponsored by SA Sloop Heating and Cooling, built on integrity. Give them a call, 704-857-5684. Visit them on their website, www.sasloop.com. Mission you saw they sponsor the forecast on Rowan County weather. That'll be $25 off your first time service call. Today, we'll see mostly cloudy skies, high of 83. Mostly cloudy skies this evening, with a low of 66. On Saturday, partly sunny skies, high of 85. 30% chance of afternoon showers and storms possible with a low of 67. On Sunday, we'll see partly sunny skies, high of 85, with a 30% uh, chance of afternoon showers and storms possible Sunday afternoon and evening, low of 66. And then on Monday, some scattered rain chances off and on throughout the day, really for Monday and Tuesday, high of 82 on Monday, 80 on Tuesday. We'll see lows of 66 on Monday and 64 for Tuesday. If you're looking for ways to stay updated with Rowan County weather at any time, you can visit our website, www.rowancountyweather.com. You can follow and like us on our social media pages, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And you can check us out on cable television, WSRG TV in Salisbury. It's available on Hotwire Channel 394. Spectrum Channel 16 will keep you updated there as well. For now, enjoy your Friday. And as always, thank you for following Rowan County Weather.